briefly review for us your qualifications, including your education and work experience that you think is relevant for our consideration of you as a county administrator. And in your response, please address your budgeting experience, supervisory experience, and labor relations, including negotiations. Well, <laughs> it's a long answer. Yeah, well, that's a lot of questions. You can look down too if you need to look at the first question. Sure. Um, starting with my education and work experience, um, when I graduated from college here in Mankato, it wasn't Mankato State University. In fact, when I began, it was Mankato State College. <laughs> My diploma says Mankato State University. Um, my, um, my degree um, is in industrial technical studies with, with teaching, and I minored in sociology. I can bring to this position, to some extent, the best of both worlds. I have been in, a, in situations where the customer is always first, because if they weren't, um, the company was going to close. And bringing that to the county level is, is, is exciting because we all want our taxpayers, the customers, to like us. They, we want them to be satisfied with us. Um, and I've seen this when I've gone to different counties. Blue Earth County is already very good at mm. customer service. I mean, I think one of the best <laughs> that I know of in the area. You walk up to our counter down there, or you're in some other situation. You're treated like a very valued customer, but it creates a taxpayer who is truly appreciative, mm -hmm. you know, I believe, of the area that they're serving. And I, I, I believe Dennis McCoy did a very great example of beginning a lot of this. Patty, Patty O'Connor, my, uh, my supervisor, um, always stressed you know, that importance of customer service. And you don't see it the same day. You don't see it maybe a week later, but you see it down the road. Um, you, you see it in, in, in so many areas that um, affect how the taxpayer looks at their county. Uh, labor negotiations. Um, I was uh, on uh, the AFSCME here. Uh, I served one year as a vice president, a second year as a president. Hmm. During that time, I was not on a labor negotiating team. Oh, okay. So I cannot, um, I cannot say that I sat across the table <laughs> um, in that in that yeah. format. Um, those were uh, um, during my my two years there. We were still on the three-year contract, right. and even though one was coming up, I was not on the negotiating team, <clears throat> which is probably good. So I have not had. Uh, that experience. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> you complete the county's budget and there is a huge deficit. Mm -hmm. How would you go about reducing this deficit and establishing funding priorities? And what do you see as depart the department head's role in the budgeting process and reducing deficits? Wow. Well, there, there's a short-term answer to that and, and more of a long-term answer. Um, I know uh, Dennis McCoy did a very great job with the, with the um, with planning ahead. Mm -hmm. he, he did not spend, to my understanding, more than what they had. But you can sure see the day coming where that may not be true. There are, there's, there's tough choices for sure. Um, a lot of the funding, say, of the area I'm in, you know, that being taxpayer service, the recorder's office uh, was to some extent self-sufficient you know, based on, on what's coming in. Um, the recorder's office needs to continue to some extent, maybe on a smaller scale. Um, the um, same thing with the tax, the tax side of our office. Um, there, are some, there are some things that can be looked at, but that's like your, that's very important to be able to send out tax statements. Um, you look across, say, the county attorneys, and the sheriffs, I mean, are you going to cut, are you, you know, are you going to cut staff in the county attorney's office when they're already um, easily get behind in their caseload? Um, and are you going to cut um, the same time on the jail staff? No. I mean, you have to be, you have to, you have to really look carefully at 
the functions uh, and what's going on. Um, basically, cutting is very difficult, and when it comes times to cutting, maybe the biggest human ser the uh, human services department and the aid that goes through there, those are tough choices too. Mm -hmm. um, I would I would look towards those big budget items um, and weigh everything carefully. I'd want as much input from the five of you as the input from all the uh, department heads, um, but yet it doesn't work in the long run to overspend. To, <coughs> it, it, there's a price to pay when you do that. It's just a matter of some very tough choices. Um, I know that uh, primarily the, the union contracts at this time are in a freeze, primarily. Um, would that continue? We sure have to look at that. Mm -hmm. Give an example of a time when you believe your ethics were challenged. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <clears throat> Definitely. Definitely. Um, I had a very unfortunate situation. Um, when I was plant, plant uh, manager, we had a continual flow of product going through our shop, which I was responsible to from top to bottom. The company had a co-owner, wasn't didn't have 50% share, but a co-owner who, at times, would like to come in and run things his own way. Um, he came into one of the departments and saw that my supervisor, my manager of that department, was about to trash hundreds of thousand dollars worth of product that was built because he had found it to be defective. He was instructed, destroy all your x-rays, all your evidence, Sign it off as good and pass it along, and don't tell Paul. Hmm. He didn't tell me. He told the quality manager who came right to me. <laughs> and over that, I had. To, I said, I can't. I said, I go to jail for this. The owner said, Yeah, but that usually doesn't happen. Oh, gee. <laughs> My mind was made up. You know, I couldn't continue because I wasn't about to do that. It's, a, it's one of those sad parts of your past that you wish had never happened. I could, I could have easily said, okay. And, and I mean, they, as, soon as, as soon as it happened, all the parts went in the trash. You know, as soon as I found out. But I just said, I can't. I can't. Primarily, yes. Yeah, just diversity in general and how it fits into the county. Um, it's, it's something that has been battled over, talked about. Um, there are scars. Um, many of the gals I work with, um, even though I think to a great extent have reached the same pay level in many cases, they have been taught the image that they are somehow second class. I don't believe that. Uh, I don't believe that um, there's any gender differences. I've worked for, um, I think, most all <laughs> diversities. I've not had a problem with that. I don't have a prejudice um, there. Um, I think in overcoming that takes time. It, it, it's a challenge for all of us. Um, <clears throat> we deal at our front counter with many other races that come in. Um, sometimes there's some language barriers. We do our best to overcome that. Um, I have no feeling of inferiority because someone can't speak my language um, or, or those things. <clears throat> 
I, you know, I'm fortunate that I grew up in the Midwest, in St. Peter, Nicola County, <coughs> because I didn't grow up with any prejudice that I that I ever saw or heard of. Uh, when the Civil Rights Movement came, when they, um, the the ladies and and their movements came, you know, what is going on? That's what, what is going on here? Because this was new to me. What did what motivated you to apply for the county commissioner position, and why should we appoint you to the position? Um, well, <coughs> I looked. I talked to my wife about it, Kathy, and she said, "I remember those days, Paul. <laughs> I remember them very well because you would come home from work, you would be with the family, you would be with me." And you were interacting with me as you always do. But I knew your mind was on some problem somewhere else. But she said, I want you to apply because I know you love it. I know you love it. I looked over my background and I realized it is for such a time as this. It all fits. I could do, I could bring great talent to Blue Earth County. Um, I like working for Patty and taxpayer service, talking to the, you guys when you walk by, talking to the taxpayers, um, helping the people with recording. I love that. But as I look at what I am and what I truly loved, and I remember, uh, oh yeah. <coughs> Yeah, I'm the person. I'm the person to, pr to bring this together. The county can go a long ways with me as the county administrator. Um, 